All right, so the next BMW Invasion event is going to be August 22nd, and it's going to be held at? Vieira High School in Brevard County. Yes, so stay tuned. It's going to be a big one. All right, so early morning right now, we're going to head over to Melbourne Beach, uh, Miguel and I, leaving my car right over here, and we're going to jump in the Dadmobile. You ready? Yes. I'm tired. I'm tired, actually. Yeah, man. Super exhausted. Um, it's going to be a good day. So this event is taking us a little bit further north from our backyard. We're going to um, Melbourne. And uh, our vision is to kind of keep moving around the state, um, bringing you know BMW events to different locations. This next one is in Melbourne. It brings a lot of uh, the Orlando guys out, um, the guys from Daytona, and the guys from down south because it seems like it, it's not that much of a drive. Even the guys from Tampa, it's an hour and a half drive from them. So I think eventually Melbourne is an ideal location for us um, to have a big event. The only downfall of Melbourne is there isn't like a big track um, you know, race car track or anything along those lines. So, and are we meeting up with Joe? Yeah, we're meeting up with Joe, and we're meeting up with the um, the guys. Uh, I think it's the principal and the vice principal of the school, maybe even the school board director, who's a who's a car guy, by the way. Yeah, but we're not bringing our cars. We're driving a, a dad mobile <laughs> up there, so. The touch of yours is what I've been looking for. Will you say my name? I just want to feel you more. Just a quick update. We're probably, what, another 45 minutes, you think? Yeah, we're probably another hour, I would say. Let's say another hour. Another so. hour away. First step is probably breakfast. Do you know any good spots up there? Um, no, but I have a couple of friends that live up there, so one of them owns a McDonald's. I don't think we're going to McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, no, we're not going to McDonald's. <laughs> um, but not the wrong with McDonald's. Yeah. By all means, I'd like to eat like three Big Macs right now because I'm hungry, but I'm not. <laughs> so um, there's a couple of good like um, vegan places. I'm, I'm down for like vegan. a smoothie. Yeah, I'm not like a smoothie or something like that. All right, the main purpose of going up to uh, Melbourne is to talk to some of the organizers for the next event. The next event we're looking at potential date, you know, it's not confirmed yet until probably later today or maybe this week, is August 22nd, which is a Saturday. And our thought process is to have it on Saturday where people are able to travel to the Melbourne area and then have the Sunday to recover and also have the Sunday to spend time with your family. Um, but we're going up there to discuss a lot of these events where we're thinking about having a lot of sponsorships and vendors coming in and showing the local businesses because we're we're advocates of promoting local businesses of florida whether it's rim companies uh, suspension um, local mom and pop shops um, in that general area and also like um, detailers a lot of details out there we love to showcase their work um, but we're going to be meeting up with vera highs uh, principal and assistant principal and we're gonna be discussing some of the logistics about it all right we just got to the Melbourne area we just had breakfast at Cracker Barrel you know you're one of your best American foods out here um, but we're driving around the neighborhood just to see the area and just kind of give you a visualization of what Melbourne is like and as of right now you can kind of see it open land really really nice neighborhood actually You've driven here before, right? Yeah, absolutely. Come here a couple of times. I got some friends that live down here, and I like it a lot. It's very laid back compared to South Florida. This is more uh, like elderly community. Um, the roads are not a lot nicer. The roads are a lot nicer. It's a little bit more higher scale. It's not like Hialeah or anything like that. <laughs> What's wrong with Hialeah? <laughs> All right, so this is called Bay Wash. As you can see, there is a car wash, which I don't recommend, and there's also car wash bays where you can kind of wash your car yourself. Yeah, don't use the brush. Yeah, don't use the brush. <laughs> bring your own mitt, bring your own soap, and just use the water. So what's good about this, it has the boom wash. Use the water, and you can have all your um, options here. This is something you don't use. 
This will swirl up your car regardless of whatever they say on the, on the forums. And this is when you want to hang your floor mats. You want to pressure wash them, and get them all clean. But yeah, this is what it is. So put your coins in here. So you put your coins in here. It's not too bad, $1.75. You're probably going to be using um, maybe two or three times of the machine, depending on what you want to use and how dirty your car is. All right, so we just got done with the car wash. Showed you guys a little bit more about exactly where you can wash your car at before the event. And all right, so we just got to Joe's house, and he is going to be the next feature video that we did uh, a couple weeks ago. Baca still has to get it all edited and everything, but we're at his house right now. And as you can see, it's a very family-oriented BMW life down here. So one of his sons has a, 130, a 128i, that one has a E90 M3, and then this is the beauty here. All right, so we have Joe here. Wearing my shirt. He's wearing his shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're just shirt. checking out his garage. This is like a beauty here. Yeah, and you only put one car in there? Yeah, just my car goes in there. <laughs> Everybody else, they can stay outside. Yeah. Unless my wife gets the X3, yeah. X3M, then we'll, we'll add that in there. Yeah. These yeah, you can fit cars side by side here, right? Yeah. I was thinking of going by a manual shop real yeah, quick. Yeah, let's go. So that's to the left, right? Yeah, left. So we're What's here at um, Euro Customs. Uh, we're miss visiting uh, the manual. This is uh, Rockledge, right? This is Rock Rockledge, Florida. And he seems to be working on a F30. This is his shop. He's making noise for the camera. Yeah, I know. So, how you, how you doing, Ken? Remember Ken, right? Yes. We're finalizing our event in Melbourne. We're going to have a BMW invasion event in Melbourne. Um, Joe hooked us up with you know, everybody down here that, that he knows. Yeah. We're going to have it at the Vieira High School okay. on the 22nd. Yes. Good parking lot to do it. And, and it, it's a good location because everyone, you know, Orlando comes down, Miami comes up, yeah, Arizona like comes down, so it's kind of centralized. Yeah. yeah. So um, we have around 700 parking spots there. So what we're going to do is once you enter the parking spot, the parking area, when you make a left, all that's going to be sponsors, vendors, show cars, okay. and then to the right it's going to be general BMW parking there. And if it overflows there, then we'll probably get on the grass. And on the back, we have the, yeah. the back facility too. Yeah. So, um, you know, we're just reaching out to all the local vendors and see who wants to, you know, have a tent there and yeah. be a sponsor and the whole nine yards. Of course, we're giving priority to everyone who's local yeah. here so that you can get the word out. Um, and, you know, you and I will talk about, you know, yeah. what you're looking for and, and, and how right. can we support you, how much space you need, and we'll go from there. So we've been in business since uh, 2011. Um, I started this shop back in Puerto Rico. I had it for about six years. Um, after the storm hit the, uh, the island, we decided to move our family here. So we had been in Florida here for about two years or so. Mm -hmm. Which storm was this one? Uh, Maria, the hurricane, yeah. Oh, that yeah, was the big, bad, yeah. yeah. That was what, two and a half, almost three years ago? Almost, yeah, almost three years ago, yeah. So that's what made us, you know, come here. Um, of course, you know, I, I, I was always drawn to the, you know, Florida, BMW community and all that. So that's why we, we choose, you know, Florida. So, Is that yeah. what you worked on predominantly in, um, in Puerto Rico? Or? Yeah, we work mainly on you know, BMWs and European cars down there. So what, what is it that you do? What is your custom known for? So I would say we do mostly anything, but we're mostly focused you know, on the customizing aspect of it, you know, focusing on the details, custom, you know. Uh, Accessories. Yeah, accessories, bones, yeah. Tunes. Paint, like painting calipers, you know, and matching roll cages and seat belts to the car, you know, like mostly aftermarket okay. business. Yeah. And then you do air rides here. Yeah, we do, yeah. Air yeah, we do he air did rides. My here. M2, my calipers. <laughs> yeah. and oh, and his, his, his oh, headlights yeah. too. And my headlights. Those yeah. Eyes, right? And that's blue? Yeah. 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 Then we're going to have to bring one of your cars down for a feature video. Yeah. Yeah. He was talking about your E46. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I so don't have it here today, but no. Mr. Gray. Mr. Yeah. Gray. Yeah. What's so the color then? It's uh like a Porsche gray. Porsche gray. Yeah, from the GT3. Is that a name from Porsche? Or did uh, you mix it to, with something else? No, we mixed it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, All we right. added like more black to it, yeah. So I submitted um your build list to yeah. Performance BMW magazine mm -hmm. and they're like, "Yes, 
we want it. Um, so we got to figure out a date that maybe you can swing down yeah. you know, to our area and then we can do a full similar to what we did with Joe. Okay, yeah, sure. Was that built here or was that built in Puerto Rico? So it was built, I think mostly it was built in Puerto Rico, but I kept, you know, adding stuff here. You, you know. it over, right? Yeah. Oh, wow. And that one has everything. There's nothing that hasn't been See, touched there's on. There's a story behind that car. Yeah. Right? So that's yep. what you can tell on camera. And yep. we haven't done an E46 yet. So it's going to get a lot of traction. Um, and people want to hear how is it that you made it, right? How is it that you're living your dream? Yeah. Whether it's, oh, I'm living my dream through my dream car or living my dream through my work experience. Or yeah. how did I get to where I got to yeah. to be able to own the car like that? I would right? say both because, mm -hmm. you know, I enjoy what I do every day. So Yeah, in your case, you're doing both, right? Yeah. You're building the cars that yeah. you love and you're driving one of them as well. Yep. So, so definitely it's a unique story. And people want to know, you know, you're, you're a one-man show. Yep. You know, you don't need to have a big bank account to get started to work on something mm -hmm. that you really love. Just hard right? work and determination. Yeah. Yep. And he's very detailed. And late yeah, nights. <laughs> very detailed. I mean, it's, it's about hard work, right? If, if you're meticulous with what you do, and you only do one car at a time, so which yeah. is unique. You know, you don't have cars lined up here. Yep. You know, you say, okay, I'm going to start this car and I'm going to finish by X day, yep. and then the next one already comes in. So. Yep. So he has a lot of customers lined up just waiting to get on his agenda of, you know, the next build. And people drive. I mean, this guy drove from Orlando, which is about an hour away. Yeah, an hour and a half, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So we want to thank uh, Emmanuel for letting us come visit him. Um, he's going to be at the BMW Invasion event that we're going to have in Rockledge August 22nd. Um, he's definitely going to bring his show cars. I know he has the E46 M3. Yeah. The E92 M3 bring the and the Porsche. Porsche. Yeah. The Porsche, Porsche should be done by then. Yeah. Um, they've been working on a Porsche that they, uh, a shop car that they've been building. So, and all his clients, you know, he has a bunch of clients within the vicinity uh, that drive down from Orlando. So you'll be seeing a lot of those builds as well that he's done. So, or he has his hand in a lot of them. So see you soon. to meet with uh, gotcha. a couple vendors that we've met with local well, to planning, the area. To um, we're going to have some food trucks that are out here. We're going to talk to the principal and the vice principal of the school. Just to let them know um, what our plans is to figure out what their requirements are when it comes to insurances and security. Uh, put a face to the name, right? Cause you've yeah, kind of put them. a face to the name. I, they haven't met us, BMW Invasion, they haven't met yet. So, you know, just, you know, want to show to them what we have going on, uh, you know, give, give them a, in a nutshell what we're trying to do here. So, all right, guys, we're at Vera High right now. I want to thank um, the vice principal and the principal for hosting us here today. We're here to talk to them about our next event on August 22nd. And Miguel? Yeah, so we're going to have an event here. It's going to be a BMW Invasion event. Um, parking is, is amazing here. We have roughly around 815 parking spots Correct. available. We're going to have some food trucks. We're going to have some vendors. And this is going to be filled with BMWs. Uh, we want to thank uh, the principal, Sarah. So, Sarah, thank you for hosting us. Um, why don't you talk to us a little bit about the school and the students and kind of give us a nutshell of, of what the school is about. Sure. Our, we're a school of over 2,100 students located in a great community. Um, we have excellent students and we're always looking for opportunities for our students to get involved with different outlets that are a positive thing for them. So um, being involved with car shows or different things that they can get engaged with and maybe get some real world experiences is, is an excellent opportunity and we're looking forward to hosting you guys here. Excellent. So we're going to collaborate with the school, we're going to collaborate with the students. Uh, we know there's going to be students that have special projects as well that we're looking to incorporate them in the car show. Um, I know you said you were a machinist in the back, right? <laughs> you went to You went to school for that. So uh, you're passionate about cars too, right? Right, yes. And I, I think this is a great 
way to incorporate a lot of our students who uh, are interested in cars or any kind of trade, actually. Uh, it'd be a great event for the community. We have really, a media team, right, at the school? We do. Right? We have a media come out team. Here and record it, have like a school project going on, too. Right. Yep. 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 They could so do we that. We definitely encourage that. We know that you guys have a lot of talent. Uh, social media is big. Kids are on social media, you know, 90% of their time. Yeah. So if we can take advantage of what you guys have here and the programs that you have for the social media and videography, yeah. we'd love to incorporate them as well. So of I think, awesome. Joe, you made yeah. a good point, too, about how when you were younger, all the times you spent on saving your money was on, t on cars. I'll switch spots with you, and you can kind of explain that a little real quick. <laughs> get camera, guys. You're not going to get you on camera. I know. Uh. All right, Joe, explain that to the camera real quick. So when you were younger, right, um, you had no time for drugs, you had no time for that nonsense, and you were just doing what? Yeah, so the, the whole idea for this whole event is to try to get the kids off the streets, uh, doing their racing, doing their drugs, and doing their alcohol, because uh, I, I actually, when I started my car stuff, it was like, I was probably like 17 years old, and that's all I wanted to do, is just mess with my car. I didn't want to deal with drugs, I didn't want to deal with alcohol. I actually, I, to this day, I still don't like drinking. Um, and um, I think that's a good way to get the kids off the streets of doing drugs. Spend your money on the car. Put money away, go to work, spend your money on the car, and, and, and put some money away. And, and you're going to see how the kids will not be falling into the whole drug scene, the whole alcohol scene, which that's, I, that's the, that hurts me the most is seeing these kids. And I have four boys and seeing some of these kids getting into drugs and all that and the alcohol and driving uh, while intoxicated and all that and the parties and all that. Yeah, let's have a party here. Let's have a party together and, and, and collaborate with, with cars and people with cars so we can get the kids off the streets. And that's what we're gonna do on August 22nd, mm -hmm. all right? Yeah, it's gonna be a kickoff event. So if this turns out to be a good venue um, that everybody's benefiting from, Joe is thinking about doing this on a monthly basis. Uh, he's still undecided of what the name may be, but it may be Space Coast Cars and Coffee. Space Coast Cars mm -hmm. and Coffee. And then we can have something hosted here once a month and, you know, get the community engaged, get the school engaged, everyone benefits, and we have something good to give back. So appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, stay tuned for the next event. And thank you, Vera High and the associates here. Thank you so much. Great. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. All right, guys, we're here still in Melbourne. We're at uh, Ruddix Detail. And this is one of the shops that we are talking to right now. Um, they're gonna be one of the sponsors actually at the event coming up in uh, August 22nd. So we're gonna speak to them and get to know them a little bit and, and kind of see what they provide. Um, I know that Joe with his M2 uh, competition has gotten his car fully detailed by them and also uh, paint protection film. So we'll go inside and check them out. All right, so we're here with Rick. Um, from Ruddix Detail. They're gonna be participating in the BMW Invasion that we're gonna have August 22nd. And Rick, talk to us a little bit about some of the services that you offer here. Okay, so we uh, offer all types of detailing from paint protection film to ceramic coatings, window tint, um, and then all the, yeah, the corrections to the paint and stuff like that. So we usually work on new purchases, uh, used purchases, all that type of stuff to help protect it and make it easier for the customer or the owner to maintain the vehicle. All right. I also see on your shirt you have Expel and you have FenLab. Talk to us a little bit about uh, the different products. Uh, so Expel is our paint protection film and window tint. Um, so that's what we use them for. Uh, when it goes to FenLab, is, is all of our coatings from paint coatings to actually coatings that we put on top of the paint protection film, uh, wheels, interior. And then we actually use Dr. Beasley's as well, which is mainly for all the interior kind of dressings, coatings, conditioners, uh, tire conditioners, stuff like that. So we just like to narrow it down to a few different companies which specialize in certain things, and then we, we use that. Excellent. And you've been in business for how long? Uh, going on six years, I Excellent. believe. Yeah. Yeah, Melbourne? <laughs> um, yeah, so we were up in Titusville beforehand. So we just now moved here to Coco uh, back in November. So that's coming up quite quick, actually. Excellent. So, Excellent. Yeah. so you have a good uh, space here. You can mm -hmm. fit maybe, it looks like you got four cars in here now. So. Yeah. So how do you move traffic in and out? Uh, that's difficult. Um, <laughs> so yeah, we have our uh, setup for our lift. We're actually gonna get another one here. Um, so then we just kinda, it's all in organization, which sometimes becomes hard when you get a car that then you have to do another days of work too. So it's just a lot of juggling of 
Okay. How about vehicles. color changes? Do you do any color changes to cars? Or? And the only color change, well, you can call it color change, is the stealth film, which is our paint protection film. Um, but when it comes to that, it's more of a vinyl shop. So we kind of, we sub that stuff out. Excellent, yeah. excellent. All right. I guess, are you a car fanatic? Obviously you are because you're in the car industry, yeah. right? So, yeah. Um, how long have you been in the car industry, so to say? Um, so, so yeah, it's been six years. Six years. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, to that? yeah. So before that, I was I was playing soccer. So okay. then then we. Got what do you this. drive? Uh, a van at the moment. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but we're looking we're looking at a couple of different ones. Uh, so so I see a lot of Corvettes, a lot of uh, American muscle cars in mm -hmm. here. Is that your um, clientele? There's a lot or? of Lamborghinis. Yeah. Yeah. Lamborghinis. We do, yeah. Yeah. We do a lot of different things. I say we do. A, actually, our main one is the Vets. But okay. that's we're in Brevard, so yeah, okay. we're not we're not down in South Florida. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. South <laughs> but get the Ferraris and Lamborghinis and all that. But stuff. But it's yeah. quite funny. Like half the time, you'll see actually not today, but mm -hmm. we'll have all white cars, then all black cars, and all mm -hmm. red cars all at the same time, and then all American Muscle, and then all Italian. It's it's quite funny how it all kind of works like that. But pretty cool, yeah. pretty cool. So we're excited to have you on board. Yeah, definitely. And uh, we hope to see your display at BMW Invasion mm -hmm. on August twenty second. So stay tuned, guys. He also did my car. <laughs> also did you also okay. my car. <laughs> I gotta plug that in. He's, uh, he's the guy that took care of my expo and my ceramic coating. All right. Do you have an Instagram handle or anything? Yes, yeah, so Radix Detail. Okay. All right. Yep. So we'll display his Instagram handle here, Perfect. and you guys can check him out. All right, guys. We're at Detail Garage in Melbourne. We're gonna talk to the store manager and the store owner about um, our upcoming event. So come on in. All right, guys. We're at Detail Garage in Melbourne. You guys are familiar with Detail Garage. We actually had an event at the last one in West Palm, Fort Lauderdale, and Miami. So I'm here talking to, what's your name again? Raymond. Raymond, okay, yep. Raymond. And we're talking about our next event on August 22nd. You know, yep. we gave you a little insight of what's going on and you guys are on board for the next event, right? Heck yeah, man. You, know, you want to take it off? Yeah, absolutely. So our next event is going to be at the Vieira High School, August 22nd. Uh, we're here talking to Raymond. He's on board. So uh, Raymond and Detail Garage is going to have a tent set up there. You want to give us some details of what yeah, you plan well, on? Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to set up a table. We'll probably bring out a bunch of products that, you know, people can purchase. Obviously, we want you know, people to be able to purchase our products. Uh, but at the same time, we have a tent that'll fit a full-size vehicle underneath. Um, and I might just do a uh, live detail right there on site. Um, I'll be able to detail, answer questions about the products I'm using while you guys are actually seeing me use the products. Um, and we'll just go from there. I might do some giveaways. Uh, might do some discounts. We can't okay. tell you guys all yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. A lot of business surprise. Two months yeah. to plan still. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got a lot of ample time to planning. If you guys have any questions, contact us or even contact Raymond yep. at Detail Garage in Melbourne. All right, guys. Stay tuned. Yeah. Cool. See you guys soon. All right, so we're going to wrap up uh, the day today. We're still here with the mayor of Brevard. Um, future mayor, future, future deputy of whatever, sheriff, leader. <laughs> no, but Joe has been a great advocate for us um, here in Brevard. We went to multiple shops and every time we showed up with this guy, everybody was smiling, oh yeah, I know you kind of thing. So definitely um, having his connections down here has been advantageous to us to bring all the local businesses on board. So we appreciate you know, all the help that you've done. Um, we're looking forward to uh, BMW Invasion event, August 22nd. And, and that's going to be the kickoff to a lot of future things that uh, not only, you know, we're going to collaborate on, but for the city, for the kids, for the whole community, it's kind of like a give back kind of thing. So uh, once again, appreciate it a whole lot. Um, we're looking forward to it and see you on the next time.